Good morning, it's me, Monkey Pipes. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Friday. It's Friday morning, heading on my first service call of the day. Um, I put a Ream, R-A-P-M um, system in. It's the model of the condenser. It's the rectangle system, it's the Prestige. It's the one with those, um, that ICC board. You guys know those Ream integrated control boards under that uh, that metal cover in that um, on the rectangle part of the system. What's so interesting about these uh, those ICC boards is that there's a sticker, you know, which identifies you know the error codes on the LED display, and the sticker has a phone number, which, and I remember this back in 2013, first time I had a problem with them. I called the phone number on the sticker, and it's disconnected. <laughs> um, but he's telling me that the system comes on for a second and it turns off comes on for a second and turns off. So uh, I put it in 2013. I haven't been there since. So, um, you know, you could stress, you know, annual maintenance as much as you want from here to the cows come home, but you know, not all clients follow through with that. I'm saying it mildly. <laughs> so we'll see what's going on there. It's probably low in refrigerant. That means there's a leak somewhere. And um, on those reams, you know, I've seen a lot of them leaking the evaporator coil. So I think he has the RBHP, you know, the smaller, low-profile air handler. I have to check it up, look it up. But we'll see what's going on over there. Stay tuned. And uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe and uh, support the channel and support this video by giving me a thumbs up. And let me get your thoughts and feedback as we're rolling. And let me know if I could do something different or what you would do differently. Thank you. Alright, let's see what's going on. Oh god. The life of a service tech, huh? Look at this. Oh my god. Sorry, it's a little blurry. RAPM, four ton. Prestige. All right, let's see what's going on. Looks like someone was in here already. They took the screws out. These are very easy to lift up. Looks like Kev is here. <laughs> Surprisingly, coil's not too bad. Right. Yep, looks like Kev left the caps off, huh? I see a lot of oil residue here. Kev wasn't that professional. Shame on you, Kev. All right, see this phone number right here? Oh, God. That's not a real error code. Looks like a broken L or broken zero. Look at this thing. But uh, yeah, this phone number, out of order. Now let me get the blower and clean this out. Disconnect the power first. You see, that should say a few Siri. Come on, Siri, go away. That should be L21. No, I'm sorry. Uh, no power. Which one is no power? Hmm, 27. It should say 27. See? Display is bad. some kind of rodent or animal was in here. All right, let's swap out this board. All right, here's the new board. There's the part number. 
All right, I'm gonna disconnect. This is the low voltage wiring. All right, and the rest, I'm gonna take this board out with these clips and then reassemble and then put the wires back on one by one. All right, stay tuned. Well, it's pretty straightforward. I'm also gonna change out that cap there. Take a look at this board. Burn mark there. Looks like a little discoloration there. Maybe some excessive heat. But when you can't read the display, you see all this damage. You know, something was walking across here. Not good. Not good. Comes with instructions. Make sure you read them. All right. It's pretty self-explanatory. All right. Let's plug this one back in first and then power. And now we have a nice display. It's a zero. 20, 27. It's no power. 27. So let's take power. And I may have to reset it. Little C. Flashing little C. It's a good sign. Flashing little C is a good sign. I want to see how this operates with this capacitor there. I have it in the truck. It's also another ream part that I stock. I haven't, to be honest with you, I haven't replaced that many of these boards. Maybe this is the third one. Oh, come on, buddy. Get your muffler fixed. This is the third one in probably about 10 years. So pretty reliable overall, but, and pretty evident that any lack of maintenance with this one was the cause of failure. Poor Kev, poor Kev didn't stand a chance. <laughs> All right, it's usually a two minute delay, so I'll get back to you in a sec. While I'm waiting for it to start up, that little black wire, right? Tells me right here, where is it? insert the ambient sensor through the grommet in the bottom of the control box. And that little grommet is right there. See that? So, follow directions. They print them for a reason. All right, they have little C. Call. It pays to have the parts of the truck. I'm gonna recommend this guy do some PM, schedule that, come back because it's pretty filthy. Let's see how bad it is actually. that to him that we need to take this thing apart. Not your typical Monday. <laughs> it's Friday. What do you expect? First one's going to be a walk in the park. All right, let's get it done. Well, you got a beautiful view here. Oh, thank you. Wow. You got some kayakers over there. It's nice. You know, wow, this is beautiful. I went to a lady's house yesterday. All right. Oh, yeah? Oh, you refurnished furniture? Yeah. Nice. So I went to a lady's house yesterday, and she lived in Oceanside, and she, I mean, her backyard looked like a fucking resort. Yeah, there's some crazy houses out there. <laughs> What's up with that one straight ahead? That one looks sick. Yep, all the time. Yeah, a lot of, nice to be independently wealthy. <laughs> Wow. I'm, I'm, a work, I'm, a, I'm a working guy. Yeah, me too. You know? And you reap the rewards, you know? Yeah. It's nice. Very nice. Neighbor's got a nice boat right there. Well, that's like a million dollar boat. That's, fun. What's that? that's probably over a million dollar oh, boat. Yeah. That's sick. Wow. Yeah, see, when he takes it out, how big it is. <laughs> that's a yacht. Yeah. Wow. 
your uh, your unit is in serious need of a deep cleaning. Okay. Uh, where you got to take all the panels off and really, really clean it. Right. Uh, you got to do it as soon as possible. I swear, there's never a dull moment in the adventures of Mikey Pipes. I start explaining to my client that you know the unit really needs to be a deep, really needs to be deep cleaned. We have to take off all the access panels, the side panels, and um, what these people go through. And uh, you know, it's really got to be washed, acid washed down, cleaned thoroughly. And uh, that way, she's running you know, 100 percent. And he goes, "Yeah, and uh, yeah, we should, we should, we should, we should do that." And I said, uh, "Let me ask you a question. Has anyone recently uh, been working on it? Touched it recently?" And he goes, "Yeah, my uh, my neighbor. My neighbor is like a big HVAC guy." Kind of figures, right? Lives in the uh, lives on the water in the big ass houses. He goes, yeah, my neighbor with the boat. He's a big, he's a big, he's a big, big HVAC uh, owner. I'm like, oh, cool. And he goes, I'll have I'll have him come over and do it. I'm like, really? He's like, all right. I was like, uh, does his name happen to be uh, Kev? Kevin? He goes, yeah, you know Kevin? I was like, yep, I sure do. <laughs> because I have his little uh, mini uh, mini crescent wrench in my tool bag now. <laughs> Poor Kevin. Come on, Kevin. If you're watching this video, you gotta put the caps back on. And make sure you take your tools. You don't care about your tools, buddy? Come on. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, let me get a thumbs up. If you found it helpful and it helped you out, if you had a ream and you know you you got reamed out by your contractor, um, you know, hope this was beneficial to you. And give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, be well. God bless.